Morning! Hope you're doing really, really well. Um, I'm kind of excited because today I'm doing something super fun. You might not get it if you're not into cats and bikes, but I mean, if you're not into bikes, why are you watching this channel? In fact, if you're not into cats, why are you watching this channel? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going all the way up to London because I'm going for a bike ride with a cat. Yes, a cat. I will explain more when I'm not in a massive hurry because as per usual, I'm late and I'm gonna miss my train. So I'm just gonna grab my bike and get going and then I can tell you more about what I've got in store today. <laughs> Train travel in the UK is appalling. It's so expensive and overcrowded and the facilities for cyclists are really, really shit. So you have to book your bike on in advance to get the train that I got. But there are only two spaces for bikes. And when you turn up, those bike spaces will absolutely always be full of luggage. Today, when I got to the station, the train pulled up, it was busy. So the guy on the platform just says to me, oh, well, you won't be able to get on with that bike but I've booked it on in advance. I've booked it and I've paid for it. Anyway, back to today. I'm gonna to go for a ride with Travis and Sigrid. Sigrid being the white Norwegian forest cat. Travis is her owner. So I'm gonna find out more about how he got this cat into riding bikes. And we're just gonna go and have a bit of fun, essentially. I hope it doesn't rain. I'm sure no cat wants to go for a bike ride in the rain. So you know how there's always some sort of misadventure, getting lost or dumb thing that happens to me in these vlogs? Well, just in my life. Well, today's stupid thing is I brought the wrong shoes for the pedals I've got, which is not only annoying for today because I'm riding around with Shimano, what have I got? No, time attack cleats on my shoes and Shimano pedals. It's annoying for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going down to Train Sharp to visit my coach and they're doing uh, a day, well, half a day of like physiological assessments. So they're going to do like a max sprint thing, a body composition thing, I don't know, some other tests. I guess like a, what's it called that thing? A ramp test. Anyway, so you're meant to take your cycle shoes and your pedals so that you can, well, do the test properly. Obviously you can't do it in flat shoes and you can't do it in shoes that don't clip in to your bloody pedals. <laughs> you gotta laugh, I guess. Do you think it's weird that essentially I've organised to go on a date with a cat. So I just point out that Sigrid's owner is a married man. So I truly am meeting up with a cat. He's just the chaperone. <laughs> but they're in the cafe. I can't go in because I haven't got a lock. <gasps> oh my goodness! Hello! <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Just adorable. You really are. Am I getting your best side? Everyone loves her. Yeah, she's very popular. Is it weird people trying to talk to you all the time? Or are you kind of... I enjoy it. I mean, you know, it's kind of why you bring her out to, to meet people and see what's going on. So Yeah. Yeah. She's more popular than I am. <laughs> Have you got any tips for people who want to teach their cats to walk on a leash or go in a basket? And do you think if you don't do it when they're a kitten, it's too late? I don't think it's too late, um, but I think Ooh. you need to be you need to be very patient and yeah. realize it's a long process, um, and you have to take very very small steps. You know, like I think I, I had her harness just laying around the house yeah. for a couple of weeks. You know, before I started putting on her for like five minutes inside the house, okay. right? And I do that for a couple of weeks, and then you know, finally try the leash in the house. You know, like it's just a very very slow step, yeah. and it helps if you do it every day because they need to be familiar with it. So I think a lot of people try it a couple times and they're like, oh, it doesn't yeah, work, it doesn't and work, they give yeah. up. Yeah, but you really just have to be persistent and patient and very small steps. That's what well, it comes down to. Well, I think that's good advice in yeah. general. So what do you reckon, guys? Should I try and take Catwoman on a bike ride? I don't, yeah, I just, yeah, no. She's elderly now. Catwoman must be 14. And I think in your dotage, it's not the thing you want to be trying out. But anyway, 
I guess we should go for a ride, right? Yeah. Be right. That's it. <laughs> does she have her own Strava account? She does. Does yeah. she? Yeah. I was joking! <laughs> no, she has one, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she has a Strava account. I can't believe it. I challenge anyone to not feel happy about a cat riding a bicycle. <laughs> we are just following a cat around like two weirdos, I guess. Sorry, Travis. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the uh, goggles are because it gets a bit windy. Are you ready? <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> it's very nice of Travis to humour my request to go for a ride with him and Sigrid because we have actually never met. I just randomly contacted him and suggested we go for a ride. So nice of him to humour the crazy cat lady. It's been such a fun day. I mean, I do love that I I kind of get to call this work. This is, this is work. I make YouTube videos for a living and I am making a YouTube video so is this the best work day ever? <laughs> I mean, I would have been excited just to go for a bike ride in London, but I get to do this, which is even better. You want to give my bike a try? Sure. Yeah. Uh, if you can reach the pedals. This is a... Oh. I can't get my bum on the oh. saddle! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fulfil this wish of riding with her, but Travis is 6'1! <laughs> you know, you have a little ride? I'll desperately remember I have to use brakes here. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I've got to remember I'm on, a, I'm on a giant fixed gear bike here. Well, she doesn't seem to mind, but it's not the easiest with the wrong shoes, the wrong pedals, and a giant bike with a massive seat post. But I'm fulfilling a wish here. I wanted to ride with this beautiful cat, and I am! All my Christmases have come true! <laughs> I thought you had such a bond! <laughs> She just likes bikes. One pint, one pint down and that's all I'm having because I am riding a bike. But I just wanted to say thank you to Travis. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And of course to Sleeping Beauty down here. She is Sparko, absolutely pooped. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Christmas.